Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? And how are you now? Oh, not so bad. I guess uh, just uh, putting some more tin on as you can see I got that notched out for that sheet there so that's looking pretty good got the next sheet marked to cut got to cut it the same height as uh, that one there and then continue on and then the next one will be cut and dropped down um, yeah things are looking pretty good I guess for now nice and flat on top here comes summer asking when she can go on her phone I bet you what the? What? Our games now. Which games? <laughs> the chocolate in the phone. Watch out, that's sharp. Um, no, and the alarm never went off yet. Couple minutes. How much? Uh, about five okay. minutes. Okay. Okay, I'll yell at you. Bye. 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 Good thing you had clean socks this morning. Alrighty, tidy righty. There it is. There she be. So I got this whole side done here now. <coughs> Fucking dust from that freaking tin is terrible. <laughs> so I got this side done. Um, I had an idea for here. You see where I had to cut this stupid thing? Right down the middle of the rib. Well, actually, it was on the one edge of the rib, but either way. So. I got some one and a half by one and a half angle iron and I'm gonna stick this in here like this to uh, without the yellow marker on it of course but that will cover up that sharp edge and that will give me a place to put stay there place to latch the sliding door when uh, she's going down the road alrighty guys well we got uh, some plywood stripped here or well, at least this piece. I cut a chunk out of here. This is another sheet. And it's in here now. So that's done. This back wall is up. But I'm out of fender washers. So I got to stop. Because I don't feel good just by putting uh, just by putting the screws in. I mean the heads aren't too too bad. But I think they're a little bit small. And uh, just bouncing down the highway and shit grid roads crappy roads you know uh, I want to put fender washers on so I got this wall done that's all screwed on notched around the jack thing there this side's all screwed on and yeah that's pretty good Ashley said she wants to paint this so that's a good idea we kind of talked about that before so that'll be good freaking sliver right in my freaking hand um I think I'm going to wire brush it and then I'll get her to prime it and then she can paint it up and then I'll put the fenders on last and uh, I guess we can paint the fenders black or whatever I don't know something anyway well we're getting her uh, I bought this uh, good one side plywood three quarter inch and what highway robbery holy shit 90 bucks a sheet uh just three quarter inch fur was 98 bucks a sheet jesus is that freaking stupid i can't believe that how price of lumber has gone so so dumb in the last while but anyway whatever we need it so what the hell are you gonna do uh so i got sheet marked out here that's gonna go in here then I gotta break my lock off here and uh, actually I could probably shove it in behind there. That should be all right. But uh, as you can see, I got my lines and yeah, she's working pretty good. Nice and straight cuts anyways. Um, so that one's marked out there and then I'll get the next sheet uh, will be this piece here. And then I had one little piece left over. I can't remember, 30 some inch. 
Make sure Sparky stays with you. And, uh, yeah, kids are running around. And then I can uh, use those two sheets in this door, I think. Okay, we got to tell me what it is. I don't even know what it is. It's, a, it's like, like what we're going to make on Minecraft, like an underground base with a pool. Mmm. Well, that'll be nice, eh? And then this. And then we're gonna have like a soft floor. Okay. So it's gonna be like brown carpet. Okay. On the floor. Cool. Well, that'll be nice. Then top is, is going to be like, like, kind of like a forest, and then mine's gonna be like, like um what um like a zoo. Okay. Hey, show um, show them that you and Paxton lost the same tooth. Smile. There on the bottom. Her and Paxton lose the same tooth. On the same day. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, they wanted me to show us show us their safari. Oh, they need more water apparently. Okay. Stupid dog. <laughs> Come on, you got water right here, you doom cuff. He doesn't like that water. He likes the mud water. What? Whatever. Let him drink the mud water. Ew. He won't get COVID that way. What the heck? Okay, we're back. Oh, just been cutting plywood like crazy here. So, it's freaking getting windy too. What the hell? Good old Saskatchewan. So here's the inside of the old room here. Got to put uh, plywood in this door yet, obviously. Uh, we got this all sheeted in. Uh, just in case if they drop anything, hopefully they won't lose it. I got a builder a table in here yet to put their thawing units on and We got to poke a hole in there somewhere and put a let me see mail plug For the generator and then probably just screw a power bar up here somewhere and then she can run her thawing units on there uh, We got to I didn't screw this on yet because I got to put the latch on uh, so I don't really want to piss around with that until I get uh, until I get the latch in. I did trade those jacks in that I had, um, and I got longer ones. Like uh, I don't know how long they're the drop leg style, and they're actually weld ons. So in order for me to use them, I gotta weld these onto the jacks. And then they go over there. This is two and three eighths pipe fits nice and snug on the two inch or whatever the heck that is So it should work I think But anyway, that's enough for tonight. So I'll bring you back uh, Tomorrow I got to get this thing the heck out of here as soon as I can I'll clean my shop out and start working on equipment. So anyway good and you seeing a few oh, Alrighty Actually, the doors get quite a bit heavier with the plywood in them. So, here's an update. What we got so far. Fenders aren't on. They're just sitting on top there. That's why that piece of cardboard is in there. I just wanted to see what they're going to look like. Um, I think I'm going to put them right on top of that beam, I think. Not 100% sure yet, but uh, we got the brown painted. Looks pretty decent. All the screws are in. So that door is done. We got these doors done. Also, all tightened up and got to look quick because they open on their own because the hitch is down. Anyways, that's that. Uh, I got to show you this. This is fucking sweet. I'm going to start using this idea on my uh, alleyway, I think, when we, uh, whenever I get around to building some more of that if it, the weather turns to shit i might build some gates for there but anyways here's my quick release latch i built this myself what i really wanted to here hang on what i really wanted to do was i wanted to get a compression spring that went right inside here in between these two pipes and uh just, i was gonna drill a hole in here so here's an idea if you guys want drill a hole in here put a cotter pin in and that way the spring can squish this way and then you wouldn't have this up here but 
of course, went to the city the other day, and that is all they had. So this is sucker rod. I welded two bolts onto here to hold the spring. Okay, so it's nice and tight. Uh, decent heavy. It's a fairly heavy spring. I made my own slam uh, thing here where the angle hits. Just like that. You can see. See the pin moving? So, there you go. So what it does then, it hits on this other catch on the back here. I gotta grind all that uh, nice yet, but anyway, that's pretty good for now. Uh, I gotta put a small piece of plywood on the back of here yet. I already have it cut, it's right here. So that's gotta get screwed onto here, okay? So then that guy will be done. Then I gotta build the same thing as I made there. I gotta build that on here, so this will be also be a catch. Uh, we got, it's not on yet. I gotta weld that to some, some angle iron braces that come across here, and that's what that's gonna get welded to. Uh, I do wanna fin close in the back. It's wide open to the brown. So I don't want that open. I'm gonna, I got a couple pieces of sheet steel I'm gonna cut out. And same thing on there, put a piece of angle iron up. So that is that. I gotta do those yet. Uh, like I said, I painted the brown. All the screws are in. Tops and bottoms, all the way around. Looks pretty good, nice and straight. Uh, I got this door done just a few minutes ago. So that is that. That looks pretty good, I think. And there's your daylight. I picked up some Rust-Oleum paint, so I'm hoping that's gonna be good. Um, I got this for the outside here. I think what we're gonna do is, uh, uh, I'll probably just weld this hinge on here and this'll just be basically for transport so that the door stays shut when you're driving down the road. So anyways, that's what I got there. And I got a 90 degree, uh, like a double, double folding hinge for the sliding door here so that it can go here and then fold to the back. I think anyway um, because that's gonna stick out I may if I end up using that same style like that I got to build that out by a one inch tubing too to get it past here but uh, anyway uh, all the stuff I got so far mostly has been from uh, Princess Auto in Regina like I said I took these jacks back the only thing with these jacks are bigger and the piece, the weld on pieces take a different pin. So I had to get, I went and I bought an expensive drill bit and I gotta drill these holes out so that the new pins will fit in there. These are too small. These are under 5 8 and the pins are, I think, right on 5 8 so they won't fit that one and that one. So I gotta do that yet. And uh, then what I'm gonna try to do, I know I wanted to keep the light in here, but the weather's gonna be turning to crap. So, well, if Carter comes out today, I want to try to uh, get the uh, sheet tin on the roof just so that all the plywood and everything inside isn't going to get wet. All right, guys, check her out. Check her out. So, here's the, here's the front doors. I'm going the right way. There we go. Here's the front doors. They're all in. Uh, we put a spring mechanism on the side to uh, open and close the door. Uh, we got to run cables yet from up top down to here to the latch. But the weather's supposed to get shitty here, so we're going to uh... nice. So we're going to um, bring the grain truck in here with the peas on. In case it uh, in case it rains and snows, I hope it does. We'll just see what happens. So anyway, there's our springs. Um, what else have we done? That's all on. We got the roof on. We put angle iron up for like a drip edge, all the way up and around. And I put this on. Weld that on, keep the door shut while we're going down the road. It's got to be painted yet, but uh, this I did with a spray can. 
just to try it, see what it looked like. Uh, I gotta build the back door yet, but we got the barn door track up, so that's nice. Uh, inside, there's the roof is on. Here's that uh, slam latch that I made. Pretty happy about that, works pretty good. Uh, we got plywood on here. I guess there's some stuff in here yet. Um, what else have I got to do? I'm gonna build a uh, table inside of here yet. Table or some sort of a cabinet. I'm not, not too sure what I'm gonna do in here yet. See what she wants, I guess. Um, we got that. That was most of the day, pretty much, getting all that stuff done. Um, we gotta do the fenders yet, but I'm gonna wait. Let's see how things go. We got the jacks all mounted on. We had to pre we had to re-drill out the um we had to drill these holes bigger. I don't know why the hell they're a different size, but anyway, so we got that. Uh let's go back inside. Got one sheet of plywood on. I gotta put uh slam latch on this gate yet. It's hard to see in here, it's a little bit dark, but uh anyway. Gotta do a slam latch there and finish plywooding the side yet. So I got probably about a half a day. Carter and I worked on it pretty good here today. Got a good day out of it. So anyway, bring you back later. Nice. All right. Well, I'm trying to make an ending for this video for the last couple of days now. And uh, it's not working so good as you can see. Right, Hot Wheels? Um, anyways, got chores done here finally. Kids are in school, so. Had a break here at lunch and I figured I'd come out and better get this done. Um, as you can see, we're having a snowstorm, a glorious snowstorm. Well needed moisture, let's just say. Uh, I don't know, we got like two foot drifts in front of the barn and stuff. It's, I think it's a lot of it is the wind, but it's been been snowing here for about two days now. Um, as you can see, I got the, kind of see, I got the uh, trailer parked outside there. Um, I wanted to try to get it done for this video, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. I, uh, it's going to be like another two days of snow and rain yet, so I don't want to take my truck out. I got pea seed in it yet. I don't want to auger it because it'll crack the peas and then my germination will be shitty. So anyways, I'm just going to leave it in the shop. Uh, I might start on, I got a leak to fix on the O3 still. I might do that later on, but uh, that was kind of my priority here for the last couple days. And like I said, it's been snowing here for the last few. So, so I guess I won't get it done on this video. But anyways, hopefully the next uh, few days or the next video, I'll, I'll just tie that in with the last or the maybe the beginning part of the next video. And then we'll just get it done and uh, go from there. But is it ever blowing and snowing? Holy mackerel. But anyways, that's it for now. So thanks for watching and uh, leave us a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.